In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the user interface for iDVR Pro surveillance DVRs. I'm going to be controlling the DVR using the USB mouse that is included. The initial default screen on all iDVR Pros is the live camera view that you see here. In the upper right hand corner of each camera view, a recording status is displayed. M means that the channel is current recording because motion was detected. And C means that continuous recording is enabled. Using the mouse, I move the cursor down to the bottom of the screen, which brings this menu into view. I can change the camera view on the screen by selecting the different grid icons that you see here. If I had a PTZ camera connected to this DVR, I could control the pan, tilt, and zoom of the camera by selecting this icon. This magnifying glass icon enables the digital zoom control for the current camera that is selected. When I click on it, the zoom screen appears, which allows me to zoom in and out, as well as select the region of view. When I am done, I click exit to return to the normal live view. When I click on this icon, the event log is displayed. The event log records events such as motion detection and other alarm notifications. If I find an event that I want to view, I can double click on it. The DVR will begin playing back the recorded video at the moment in time that the event occurred. When I am done viewing the recorded event, I can select the live view from this menu. If you are using an audio surveillance microphone with your system, you can select a microphone that you want to be enabled here. This is the panic record button. When it is clicked, the current recording configuration is overridden and the DVR immediately starts recording. These three icons allow me to check on the status of any alarm inputs, on the network status, and on the hard drive status. Users can select System Setup from the main menu to access the DVR's setup and configuration screens. You can see here how easy it is to navigate the setup screen and adjust something like the camera title. Any of these submenus within the configuration screens can easily be selected by pointing and clicking with the mouse. Navigating the recording configuration screens are just as easy. From the main menu, select Record Setup. On the Record Setup screen, users can choose between various recording methods, including continuous, motion detection, and alarm-triggered recording. These recording options and others will be explained in detail in a separate video. Want to learn more about iDVR Pro video surveillance DVRs? Please visit www.idvrpro.com. Thank you for watching.